And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for part two of our meme tier day stream. Um, you know, had some last night, have some more tonight, and then we'll be back on our normal ranked schedule tomorrow. Um, this first deck that we're going to be playing is a deck built around Hunt the Week. So this was one that I wanted to put together. I wanted to play this card. We haven't played this card at all yet, and it's a pretty interesting card. So it's two mana, slow speed, and your opponent discards their weakest follower from their hand. So let's kind of think about this card, you know, trying to like build around this card. Basically what you have here is you're, you're spending two mana while your opponent's spending zero mana, and you're trading one for one. You're spending a card and you're removing a card from their hand. But they, they, again, they spend zero mana while you spend two. And so, like, if, if you did that with every single card in your deck, you would be losing, right? Because, like, they, they still have their mana that they can play things onto the board, attack you, kill you, and that kind of stuff. And you're, you're spending two mana just trading one for one. However, it can still be a pretty powerful card because you can get rid of very important, you know, followers from hand and, and stuff like that. You can, you can uh, you know, you can, you can kind of be surgical with this card. Um, at times. Other times, it also has like the downside of if you draw this in the late game where like both you, if you don't have any cards, your opponent doesn't have any cards, you draw this card, it's not going to do anything for you, right? So like, I think that we, we kind of have to improve just the card overall. Like just, if you just kind of think of like that being the card, that doesn't really seem quite good enough because you, you know, again, you're trading one for one, but you're spending mana and your opponent's not spending mana. So how can we make this card better? So I wanted to, so kind of like talk about some ways to make it better. I decided I wanted to pair it with Insightful Investigator. Whenever you play a two-cost card, draw one and give it fleeting. So, whenever we play our two-cost Hunt the Week, we get to draw an additional card. And of course, it will be a fleeting card, so we will have to have the mana to be able to play the additional card or be able to use it somehow with like a, a rummage or something like that. But that's a way to make this um, downside a little bit better, right? So now I'm spending two mana to get something out of their hand and reduce the resources in the game on both sides by one but then we're also um replacing our resource with that uh, fleeting card that we are drawing and you know hopefully we can take advantage of that uh fleeting card there so that's so that's what i wanted to do with pairing this card I, basically i didn't want to, um so like some other ideas kind of had with this um you know karma of course like karma is a way that you can kind of play hunt the week and if you have a leveled up karma then you copy your spell right so that it doubles up the hunt the week and that's really powerful but of course that does require you being alive until turn 10 right to have the enlightened karma and then after turn 10 that's when you play hunt the week and then you have to hope your opponent has, still has two followers in hand um i feel like a lot of things kind of have to go right for you and and ionia doesn't have like the best removal and and that kind of stuff and then if you played ionia and noxus you'd have like deep meditation for card draw but not really that much other card draw um, in those regions and so I, I think it kind of could go better in this kind of deck with insightful investigator that's what i want to try it out all right so looking looking at so we built the deck around these two cards and so we're going to be noxus and pnz with insightful investigator that kind of led me down the hole of playing ballistic bot iterative improvement we were thinking of going calculated creations ended up not going that um, but kind of going with those kind of cards with and going created cards and going with Victor um, with a lot of created cards. Also going with Draven because we want to you want to make sure you have a pretty low curve in this kind of deck. You don't want to have too many too many expensive cards. So as you can see, we have a pretty low curve and especially focused on the twos because of Insightful Investigator. So that um, Trail of Evidence could be amazing in this, right? Like because it's it's a two mana card, so it it helps your um, Insightful Investigator, but then also it gives you that. Uh, create a card for your um, for your victor as well. Um, and then if so, if we're going to be creating all these cards, we're going to have like ballistic bot that can create cards, clump of wumps that can create cards. You know, like we have a lot of like little things, like you know, Draven spinning axes and all that kind of stuff. Because sometimes you draw a card that you can't cast, and you still want to get good value from that. So we're going to be having rummages in here. And then since we're playing rummages, I feel like Death Ray could be really nice because there's going to be some matchups. Like if you play against a Zoe deck, like yesterday we played against all Zoe decks. And so if we play against Zoe decks today, we'll have like Death Rays, which will be a really good removal spell. Uh, to height to help fight Zoe, but other matchups you don't really need the death ray, and or you don't want to cast the death ray because you don't want to put like these MKs 
back into your deck because you don't you don't want to draw the MKs. And in that case, we can rummage the card away. But other matchups is going to be super powerful. And whenever we have the MK2, that will also trigger off of your Insightful Investigator as well. So hopefully this is a, a good um, kind of explanation of our deck. We also have one other thing with the Hunt the Week. I'm playing one Chief Mechanist Zevi, where if we if we have Zevi in play, we draw a Hunt the Week. Now we make two copies of it, and suddenly our one draw step with you know drawing the one card it really turned into two draws and then we you know maybe we can pick off two different cards so this is our kind of our mini karma for our deck all right so it's meme today we're gonna go play our five games in normal and let's see how we do here with the insightful hunt Okay, so Twisted Fate Fizz, so I think we're just going to keep kind of all of this, right? I guess we could mulligan a Draven, but Draven's pretty awesome, and then it'd even be, you know, like, Whirling Death, which could be pretty pretty nice. I, I think I'm actually just going to keep all of this. We got our cool Hunt the Week that we can try that card out. Scorched Earth's in here to be able to destroy some larger things and pair up with our Mystic Shots and MKs um, to be able to do that. I am superior life form. Can you improve perfection? It's Draven time! Croak if you work, burn if you don't! Watch and learn. Looking for this? Um, I think I'll just cast the Ignition. The MK1 to kill the, the Petty Officer and put it back is, is not a bad idea, but I also I already have like Mystic Shot and stuff, and you know, it's good playing fleeting cards before they go away. That's always good. A Terrative Improvement on a Petty Officer, again, not necessarily a bad idea. So when am I going to play this Hunt the Week? Feel me in. Dead in their tracks. Oh no, got some options. Not too surprised there. My beautiful face. Just gonna save the mana for right now. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Look at me now. Keep up, keep up. I wonder if Sprayfin was. Or Sprayfin would have been what, what I would have gotten from the weakest follower in hand. Can you improve perfection? Rise, metal brethren. Prime and ready. Ooh. Victor is interesting. For a future turn. So that's already six out of eight for Victor. I can just go spinning axe, discard this intuition. Which I think I want to do that because I can't cast this intuition anyway, so that will make, so that will just make Victor seven. Just to, you know, I can just throw away this spinning axe. But I think that's, I honestly think that's probably worth it. kill you, I don't 
success gets you noticed around here. Okay. Time for the main event. So I'm gonna go spinning axe. Play this to get a spinning axe. Oh, are they gonna? Is this gonna be a ruination deck? Man, if they go ruination, I am in a lot of trouble. Let's do this. Say your farewells. Okay, not ruination. Alright, so we got leveled up Victor. So our creative cards will cost less mana. Now we're cooking. So these ignitions will be free. And um, right now our best draw is like Insightful Investigator. Get us some good card advantage. Um, also playing, we are, you know, I am playing Sumpworks map. They can just give, you know, one of these things elusive. Ooh. Alright, well, Rummage is good. Let's start with the Hex Core upgrade. Alright, now I'm just gonna Rummage away these two things. Okay. Interesting. Let's see if we get something cool. Weakest follower from hand. Black Market Merchant. Yeah, that's something cool. Searching for some winners. I'd say that's something cool. So they have two cards in hand. So I can I could basically play the Death Ray to trade with one of the two cards, right? Because they'll just stop it with the Fizz. Their Fizz is at four out of six as far as spells go. I'm just gonna wait. Hey Sam, need a hand? Can't say no to Fizz. System upgrade. Yeah, so our, yeah, our hunt the week got rid of a black market merchant, so that's pretty good. Because yeah, the black market merchant would have they would have been able to play it and steal something else. Victor has Overwhelm right now. What else we got? Fearsome. Fearsome looks pretty good. Fearsome looks pretty good. So they did have the one mana trail of evidence. Rummage. Draw some puff caps. Safety is engaged. Hey, take it to the gun show. System upgrade. So right, if if this works, then Fizz is the only thing that can block. But you know they have those three cards in hand. Yeah, you don't want to. 
Uh, that's annoying. Wish I would use Mystic Shot now. Got access, need victims. It's annoying. I don't just make them. A great mind was never idle. Friend here needs you to pay up. Make it worth my while. I'm down to five. I want to keep two mana cards in hand because of Insightful Investigator, which is why I, which is why I kept like the previous turn. I, I didn't want to play my two mana deal three. Stop nabbing all my cards. My cards are cool. Still, warning shot as a possibility. Okay, so that missed. As far as something that could have protected the fizz. Can you improve perfection? Built to spec. Join the glorious evolution. Shouldn't these all be? Safety disengaged. Should these all cost one less? You're, are these not created cards? I guess they're not created cards. Oh, yeah, I guess I could just throw them all upstairs. What are you waiting for? System upgrade. Shadow Isles does have some life gain potential, but probably not that much. But there we go. So it didn't have the cool insightful investigator, but we got to do some other cool stuff with Victor and just creating a bunch of cards. And we also got to hunt the week away a black market merchant. So that's always good. So when you draw a card, give it fleeting and create an exact copy of it. So the second one is the is the created card, but the first one so the first one would still be the card you draw. The second one should be a created card. So yeah, we played the Victor that was created. But still, it should have reduced the cost of, like, the Mystic Shot in hand. The second Mystic Shot, at least, to show that it was one instead of two. Okay, oh, it did reduce the third Mystic Shot? Soraka Braum, that's my deck. I love Soraka Braum. Well, Soraka Braum, like, these things ain't killing Soraka Braum. Um, units... Well, I'm obviously keeping the Investigator. The Rummage, I'm not sure about. I think we probably just keep Rummage. This is going to be a slow hand. That's cool. Okay, the Mystic was reduced? Okay. Cool. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. I don't know. You just look like a bot to me. A noisy bot. We see through all. <laughs> a boot. Okay, so one Mystic did get reduced. Okay, good. Because, yeah, you, you draw one, you make it fleeting, so that one's not a created card, but then you, the second one, the one on the right, is the one that you create. Uh, then you also create it's one. Draven time. Hot on the trail. Okay, so it was one, two, and two for the three Mystic Shots. I thought it was... I thought they were all two. I, I just missed it. Then, I thought they all said two. Because that's what it should That's what it should have been. Two of them should have cost two, and one of them should have cost one. I don't know, are you just like a... I feel like I'm like calling a... Uh, you know, some kind of helpline or something, or customer service. How can Brom help? I don't know, man. Ready. 
That's a really good draw. That's a very good draw. Time for the money makers. Hunt the weak. Blessed by snow and stars. Okay. So whirling death's not gonna help. So I'll just let this be. How can I help? Wow, Ugh. did you see that? So many good two drops that we don't get to play. An auspicious season. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I don't even know what to, what to, where to begin. I mean, I guess I begin by just playing this thing that costs nothing. Yeah. I'm on it. Oh, that's a good one. The War Mother will unite us all. The facts fall into place. Once I stamp papers, now faces. Man, we just have infinite cards. We're of course digging for I'm I'm digging right now for um scorched earth, right? We have the two scorched earths. That's what I'm looking for currently. Uh, excuse me. Got access, need victims. You hoping they'll die of boredom? Tread carefully. I probably want to play. Yeah, I probably want to play this Bunku rookie while it costs zero. I guess I just played over an eager apprentice. I mean, I don't know. It's a, it's a worse blocker though. So maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I just wait. I can. I, again, I can just discard the, the transfusion and buff these things up permanently. But I think I should probably wait on that also. So I guess we're just doing a bunch of waiting. Let's show our friends the door. Have you met my shield? Today we fight as one. Okay, let's see. Things only at five right now. Sure, boss. And I, I do think because of like troll chain stuff, I think I'd rather block this five five than the six six. And I think I just don't even want to try to mess with this. Okay. All right, cool. I'll take all that. So I know I have the two mana deal two on top. Do I want a Zevi? This is going to get... My hand is going to get really full. This is not easy to figure out how I'm going to do this. Because <laughs> um, I, I could play like another Insightful Investigator and really go crazy. That's enticing also. Um, I think kind of no matter what, I can just cast this thing. Okay, I probably can't... To heal and protect. I probably can't play another insightful investigator. 
There's a right tool for everything. I think I can play Zevi though. With the possibilities are infinite. System upgrade. Double trouble. I guess I can start there. And that would mean because the one on the right, so the one on the right's the created card, so that bumps up the ballistic bot. The Star Child, I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. The facts fall into place. Yeah, it's like, what do we do? I get I by their by their want to play this broadback protector, I don't believe they have another follower in hand. This is really difficult. And that would mean This is an unfortunate timing for this rummage. Very unfortunate timing for that rummage. Because, like, this is kind of the problem with playing Rummage and Zevi, because everything's just fleeting. So I don't get to, you know, I can't, like, Rummage these away and get more cards and dig deeper into my deck. Because, obviously, we need Scorched Earth is, like, the most important card for us to find right now. Can you improve perfection? I could use two with me. Be at peace. I've got this. First we fight. We should be friends. Take heart. With purpose. In the vault. What are you waiting for? This rock has got to be more important, right? No, I discarded the second Hunt the Week. So I can play the two Scorched Earths, so... What will you have? I mean, I, I, I have to kill this Star Spring. So I guess that's where I start. I'd like to kill the Soraka, but I have to kill the Star Spring. Now all they need is a guiding touch to save this. I hope it's like a. Ah. Uh, I guess I should have cast that earlier before the Tavern Keeper. I was hoping it was like a Bastion, you know, something like that, that they would use to save it. Rage Yeti was their weakest follower, so that's got to be their only follower then. If that's the weakest one, that's got to be the only one. And that would mean... Oh, not the best time for Scorched Earth. Not the best time for that Scorched Earth. Okay, got rid of that though. So what is their hand then? If it's not, it's not a follower. Could be a champion, I guess. Ooh. 
But without without Victor, I don't really know how I'm doing 20 damage. Like we need like Vic. Yeah, we basically need Victor. Yeah. More equipment for the field. I need. By starlight. I need Victor, and yeah, I'm gonna need some help for not milling myself. Also. Take a district cell. Got an axe with your name on it. The facts fall into place. Victor can not only finish this game, but also Victor can create like these hex core upgrades that also just put like or put create these like MKs like with the champion spell. They can just get some more cards back into my deck. Some more, you know, Draven's whirling deaths a little harder to pull off with that. Oh, I wonder what those three cards are. That makes sense for one of them. Take heart. Live with purpose. Outdrawing the Soraka deck. Built to spec. Man, I do not have victors in this deck. We've not seen a single one yet. <laughs> I do, I do have to worry about playing, like, if I play Investigator and then I play Trail of Evidence, I'm down to four mana. And, like, if, if that top card, that, you know, then we draw a card and then give it Fleeting Mate two copies. If that card is Victor, I can still play one of them, I guess. I can still play one. Victor, that is. Fast five focused optical burn. Laser proof safety gear? I got you. Yes, of course. I could use <laughs> yep, that's where that one is. So we need to play the one on the left. So as, as you notice, both of those cards, I played the one on the left. So that the created ones should be the one on the right. So this should be a created card now. So now it should cost zero, right? So this death ray costs zero. Unfortunately, Trail of Evidence still costs one. I don't have one mana. Um, what am I doing with you? Uh, I guess I deal damage to... I don't know, my own thing? I could do damage to... This, I suppose. Metal is perfection. Hmm. Sure. Take heart. Live with purpose. Not so sure about that. Okay. Uh, well. I know Trill. Or, sorry, Flame Chomp. I know Flame Chompers cost zero right now, but I think. Oh, I guess next turn it's still going to cost one. Not. It's still not going to cost two. I wanted to save it and have it cost two the next turn. It's not going to cost two. Okay, so yeah, the creative one costs one, this one costs two. You leave me no choice. Wait, did I have the attack token last time? Interesting. Alright, I guess I did. Maybe I could have attacked with Victor. Um, so I'm at seven. Unfortunately, because I don't want to do any blocking, but we got to. I guess I, I guess I have to block Soraka also because of two pill cascades, don't I? That would that would not be a cool way to end this game, but I guess that would be a fitting way to end. Okay, 
Okay, so this is... Yeah, because this is these are create the victors in your deck. So yeah, like this was... Whenever we play the MK... So whenever you play the death ray, it creates, it creates a death ray MK2, and it creates another victor. And so this was the victor that we created. I'm going to want that elusive, please. Spell shield's great. Stop from stop from being hushed. That's good. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. I don't really want to do damage to this goat. Could do damage to my own stuff. If I do, if I Mystic Shot them, now they have the Broadback Protector, just, you know, just goes to the Broadback Protector anyway. Live with purpose. The Star Child, I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. But, you know, it's like I might as well play it, but I also might as well not play it. <laughs> Catch 22. I think we play it. No, I don't want to shoot it to the face because I don't. I don't think I want. I think I'd rather choose what I'm dealing damage to. Because again, the face damage when they have broadback protector doesn't. We're not doing any nexus damage. They're just healing it. Scout? No. <laughs> Ingenious. So the MK3 will really be like an MK2. So like we we're putting a bunch more cards back into our deck, so we're not going to mill out. It's like that's what the this Victor is really helping with. Come on, another one of those. Live with purpose. This would be so great as Quick Attack. If we could have like this with Scout with Quick Attack, that would be pretty great. This thing's about to get healed a whole lot. Is not good for me. Stand back. Genius in action. More equipment for the field. Yeah, take those puff caps. Ready for anything. Take heart. Live with purpose. Okay, so they're just at eleven. All right, let's see. You can go there. Um, you can go here. Let's see. Everybody's got to kind of block. Can you fight with that? I've got questions. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't really. Don't test my photos. This is kind of cool though, like these death rays and stuff. Now, like if they they play something, I can you know play all these other death rays. Like, this is a lot of damage. Because <laughs> those things that they have are are gigantic. Yeah. So like the MK3 costs two mana now. So like these MK3s cost two mana. So that means they're they're good for the investigator. These MK2s cost one mana. This is hilarious. This is this is pretty crazy. Ah, uh, darn! They didn't they didn't play anything, so I don't get to play anything. Also, so we have to let damage happen. So there goes our investigator and Zevi. So now it it is truly all on Victor.
That's too bad. My life total is just too low. If I just had like some more life, that I didn't have to do that kind of blocking. The third astral protection? Come on. So this is only five damage. That's just another five five damage. We gotta hit a, like elusive. Or quick yeah, elusive, quick attack. 14 over here. Take <laughs> Life steal? Huh. Well, this MK2 doesn't do anything, right? Think about just discarding this MK2 to the Spinning Axe. I can either just let it go away or I could discard it and, and just give, you know, give the victor a permanent plus one plus zero. It's like the Spinning Axe doesn't really do anything else. All right, what else, what else we got? Elusive? Quick attack? What do we get? We got Elusive! Let's go! Take heart. So they need to find something that targets and also a hush. Both. They find, you know, that's, that's how they win. They didn't have it! Oh no, I didn't get to do my cool victory emo! Man, what a game! What a game. A vision of progress brought to life! Haha. <laughs> that was one of the best games ever. Alright, Timo Sejuani. That was definitely one of the best games I've ever played. That one was awesome. Okay, so we got Hunt the Week again. We got Victor. Um, I like this hand. Uh, Clump like, do I want to keep Clumple Wumps? It's like, sure. Um, Hunt the Week seems pretty awesome against Teemo Sejuani. Like, they're a deck that, that like, really relies on um, different, like, their, you know, like, their uh, followers. And we have, we have the Death Ray for turn one Teemo. We got Victor, even though, like, we couldn't find Victor that last game. We see through all. Um. We'll get the bot in play first. You got me. Ooh. Scorched Earth could be interesting. pretty cool. Prime and ready. It's a very good draw. Safety is engaged. A ticket to the gun show. System upgrade. I think killing the ballistic boss is the most important thing. These imperative improvements. Too good. Join the glorious evolution. 
The flesh bags will bow, great maker. Fact, I am superior life form. So I know I haven't been really using these, you know, I haven't been spending the mana on these ignitions, but I've been trying to not, like, get too far ahead, or too far behind. Ouch. Guess I should have just done that immediately. We're gonna have something that's gonna be pretty big. Thanks to that Starlet Seer, they're gonna have something that's pretty big. You own what you take. Uh, rather get that card also. Hmm. The party has arrived. Well, I can scorched earth that thing. Ride onward. Evolve or die. Got an axe with your name on it. System of now we're cooking. <laughs> I'm really surprised they attacked with this Ballistic Bot, to be honest. Very surprised about that. So the main question is, do I want to level up Draven? We could level up Draven. You know, discard, spinning axe, discard one of these other things. I'm gonna say no. I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna say no. That would be pretty bad if they just went like Mystic Shot, right? <laughs> if I I tried to go this level up and they went Mystic Shot. The future is steel and science. I don't like this very much. Them having this 8 8. Go to 7? I guess I have to. Come on, lifesteal. Lifesteal? I know, that's why I didn't like it, it was because of the open attack. Fury. That's the worst keyword. Literally the worst keyword. Uh, literally the worst keyword. Alright, well this... game didn't work out too well for me. Live steel, live steel, live steel. Tough. Up there in the oh, man. <laughs> no such thing as yet. So I know that the, my, the next card in, on top of my deck is going to be the MK3. And that's not going to really help me that much here, either. I guess I should have Sumpworks mapped the Victor first because I may have actually, you know, like they, they may have already given it elusive and then my Sumpworks map really wouldn't have done anything. So I guess I should have just used that, that Sumpworks map on before asking for more keywords. Looking back at it. Um, but also, of course, looking back at it, I, I just don't know if it's going to matter too much. Look out! You gotta believe me! This one's on the house. Clumsy design. Hey, uh, Habolge, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Ingenious. 
It was kind of surprising they used the troll chant there and not the, the plus two, plus zero on their thing that I was killing that was lethal. A little surprising. Lifesteal? Ooh, Scout's good. Scout is good. That's too bad. Yeah, Hexcore Sejuani though, not good. Why didn't they just play that before attacking? Like, they could have definitely killed me. They definitely could have killed me. Good. Oh no, that one was the puff cap. That's too bad. I could draw more cards, but obviously drawing more cards is... Problematic, but... Yeah, I mean, I think I have to. So I'm at two. Because I, I have to kill my opponent this turn. Yeah, like, this is my only turn to kill my opponent. So, that means... Investigating officer. That we're doing this. No real reason to do that first. The facts fall into place. Nope. Oh, I'm so close to dying. We march as one, an unstoppable one. force. I need you, lifesteal. <laughs> overwhelm. I don't need overwhelm. Well. Yes, of course. Good. Not dead yet. No, we are not looking for Scorched Earth. We're looking at for... Basically, I was looking... I, I need a lifesteal there, but I'm looking for ways to grow Victor's power. That would mean. Oof, good. There we go. Live, so we need to kill my... We need to do 13 damage to my opponent this turn. Okay, that's... That's 10... That's 10 damage right there. And then the Mystic Shot's another 2. So that's 12. So... Uh... We have to just, we have to again not draw puff caps, right? Like if we draw a puff cap, we lose, but I don't have any other options. Yeah. A great mind must never idle. The facts fall into place. Ooh, okay. Still good. All right, one more. Now it makes sense to play this to put this back on top because this could be one of the top three cards, and then and then that would be a good card to draw. Right. So like, because you know, I hope we're we're putting that back on top. Oh, I don't have the mana anymore. Oh, I'm out of mana. Could I even? So I could even play this. I wasn't even like really paying attention to my mana. So I couldn't even play this anyway. Hmm. Oh, I for should have been paying attention to mana, but I, I don't know if I could have done anything differently. I don't really think I could. Can you improve perfection? <laughs> Save the and yeah, then I'm dead. Age. Another very good close game. That was that was pretty awesome. I, I don't think I could have done it. I don't think I had a different line, but almost got him. I must advance. I must improve. No, okay, so I could, I could have. So if I would have, if I didn't cast, Mis so I cast Mystic Shot and then the MK. So I had three mana. If I don't cast those, if I cast the, if I cast the other card in my hand, the thing that make the Clump of Lumps, I cast that, I cast that, um, the one mana Puff Cap card. That's, if I use that for the three mana, that buffs up, um, Victor's power one more. So Victor would have been six attack. 
And so then I would have gone six twice, which would be 12, which would put them down to one, but then I would have still kept the Mystic Shot in hand. So that when we went to the next turn, if we don't draw the Puff Cap, and remember, I don't have the MK in my deck now, so maybe that next card, you know, we showed that I didn't draw Puff Cap, but we don't know what my next card was, because I wouldn't have drawn that MK. I would have drawn the next card underneath that. So if that next card underneath that doesn't have the Puff Cap, then they, whenever they cast their um, Ballistic, you know, the Ballistic Bot deal one damage, I could have responded with the Mystic Shot. So yeah, I'd, and I, I would have saw that if I would have paid attention to my man. I didn't pay attention. I was, you know, trying to like think of like what I was doing like with the victor and everything, and how are we not drawing puff caps, all of that. And I just, I just didn't look at the mana too much. How did I, how did I win game two, dude? Kava, it was the longest, craziest game. Cause we're already an hour and seven minutes into this video, in just the three games. Um, it was probably like a forty-minute game. It was crazy. Uh, basically, Victor. Victor won us the game. Game two. Victor. Victor was insane. It. It was so good. Uh, but we couldn't. We couldn't find Victor until we were down to our last ten cards. Then we started drawing Victors. And so I was gonna mill out because I had the insightful investigator and Chief Mechanizevi. And so I was gonna mill out. But Victor kept on putting MKs and more Victors, which were more Vic which were more MKs. Put them back into my deck so I could keep on redrawing all those. Then I just had like a, a row of MKs and wasn't milling out and Vic well, all the time while Victor is growing and gaining keywords. All right, so for ours, I'll keep Mystic Shot, keep Draven, we'll keep the two great cards. Nothing wrong with Trail of Evidence, but I just don't think we have to necessarily keep it. We can look for some more engine cards. MKs have been really good for us. <laughs> Zoe does talk so fast, right? Zoe gives me like tired head from just trying to trying to process what she's saying. It's Draven time. Yeah, you'll definitely have to watch that game later. That was that was one of the best games I've ever played. That game, the game two we just had. That game three we just had was an awesome game too. Game two is something special. It's pretty early star shaping, but of course we don't know what else is in their hand. Felt like they were keeping Thermogenic Beam, but even if they go like Thermogenic Beam, kill the Victor, I still have the Draven. Okay, so they had Aftershock to kill Draven, so now I still have Victor. Draven down. Genius in action. Once I step papers, now faces. I probably should just attack for two immediately. And just got the two damage in. Tough, tough, tough. Life steal, really? Now you show up? I need you all last game. Oh, I guess that's a card. Yeah, I suppose that's a card. I'll let them deal two damage to my Victor. You know, let them block Victor. I don't think so. I don't really want to let them, but... Maybe not. So I'll be able to, I'll be able to draw this MK2 this next turn. Um... So I'm going to go, you know, rummage into these. Like, I'll rummage away these spinning axes. Yes, of course. New face. Who's Ingenious. 
Trail of Evidence hitting like Pale Cascade. Kind of crazy. Yeah, and Hush. You can get more Hush. Yeah, Trail of Evidence Targon does sound pretty sweet. You're at four right now. Next turn, three, four, five, six, seven. We're looking at seven mana. We have like eight. Eight's probably fine. I don't know. I don't... I kind of think I don't cast this ignition. No, yeah, we do. We just keep on, keep on trying to get this. Victor leveled up. Obviously, I'm going to want to get this Insightful Investigator in play. Alright, Zevi or Insightful Investigator. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Um, I don't really need to death ray that. First day on the job, the gun's real. And our Victor deck's pretty sweet. Can you improve perfection? Fire till nothing moves. Alright, leveled up Victor. Get our cards costing a little less. Maybe get a nice spell shield. Regen. Elusive, quick attack. Okay, spell shield. Yeah, that card doesn't matter. Do, do, do. Happy to do whatever's needed. Ooh, what's up, Victor? Because, yeah, when you cast Victor's Death Ray, you create the MK in the top three cards of your deck, plus you create a Victor in your deck. So you, that's what, like, helped us from decking. Create, you know, like, that creates two cards in, in the deck. And we had Zevi in play, so we had, like, two of them. So, so we got to create, like, four other cards in our deck and, and so on. And that would mean... They said I can be whoever I want. You already are, and so much more. Yes, of course. Oh, there goes the Scorched Earth. That's alright. Oh, what was their weakest follower? The Great Beyond? Oh, well. That was their weakest follower, huh? They take it to the gun show. <laughs> and there they go, they concede. Can't handle it. I was, you know, basically making another another victor, right, with like, you know, by taking like their other their other thing there. Hunt the weak value, three and one. Or anything, yeah. Or, oh, were they just trying to set it up for, what, like 20 power with that thing? Oh, with Mimic. Yeah, play that and then Mimic. Oh, yeah. I I mean, I could probably have killed... I probably could have killed the Mimic before they attacked, right? Like, if they play that thing. But yeah, that's what they're trying to set up. That Mimic. All right, Shivana Leona. This looks like a good hand. Trail of Evidence. Unyielding light. Humanity is obsolete. Scorching light. Can you improve perfection? Alright, so I, I would definitely want to save spell mana for like next turn to have like transfusion to go along with Victor. Um I think I'm just going to. I think I may just cast this and just save three spell mana. 
for next turn and then be able to have like another ignition and then like transfusion or trail of evidence or mystic shot you know like any of these cards which i guess i could just play the eager especially how they have the three two i don't want to block the three two there so yeah actually let's just play this eager apprentice and save our spell mana we won't play trail of evidence Good block. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, Frank Maker. Ooh. Out of the way. That's a spicy one. A spicy meat ball. Can you improve perfection? I do look to have a pretty Maybe decent open attack. Ah, didn't have another Noxus ally. Too bad. They're playing Shivana and Leona. Clad in shining sunlight. Safety disengaged. Energy core upgrade. Elusive. That's cool. Who does not know the name Laurent? That's not cool. Mm. Time for the main event. All right, so Victor's at five. We're pretty close to leveling up Victor. Yep, they got two four mana champions. Daylight breaks on the battlefield. The sun's splendor reveals. Should hit Victor. Yep. Genius in action. Probably should just rummage away Spinning Axe and Ignition. Even though Spinning Axe plus Ignition could level up Victor. Cool, Victor's got regen. So I can Spinning Axe the Trifarian to Hopeful and make that four and have those trade. I don't know if I really care about that that much. We don't necessarily have bad options, but just no options that I love. No, like, real necessary options here. With a little time, I'll have a break. Safety disengage. Can you improve perfection? But yeah, Victor is elusive. So I guess I want, like, spell shield here. I mean, they could still have, like, sharp sight to block. Okay. So that's their plan. Let's go with... So that's only going to do six. Should I just go double transfusion? So that'll be nine mana. Yeah. And then I... Okay. Stop with the fury. <laughs> I get fury every single time. Fury is the worst. So you gotta think they're, they're gonna have hush, right? Like that's the plan is just like hush block. No, cause I mean they could, they would have just hushed bef and let the concerted strike do the, do all that damage. So do they just not have a plan? Yeah, they could have like if so basically the two cards that they have that can save them are Hush and Sharp Sight. And both of those would have had the concerted strike kill my victor anyway. Submit. 
So if they had either one... Okay, yeah, I was gonna say if they had either one, they could have just... Already killed Victor, so they probably didn't. Alright, there we go. A nice 4-1 for Insightful Hunt. This was just a really fun deck to play. This is a really fun Victor deck. Um, you know, getting all those hex core upgrades, everything. Like, this This was awesome. Um, and our, our Hunt the Week did good. You know, like, we got to we got to take a lot of good followers. You know, we took one mana 6-6 six, six, um, in, in Rage Yeti. Of course, we got that, that nine mana 8-8 eight, eight with um, Spell Shield, Big Celestial thing, the Great Beyond. Um, we got Ballistic Bots from our opponents. Um... You know, just good. We got some good stuff from them, and uh, I liked this as you know, like hunt, hunt the week was a positive, but we had really good card advantage thanks to the insightful investigator, and then also all these rummages. Um, the, the death rays were really impressive in the, our deck for how we had the card advantage to pair with it. That's the thing with the death ray; you got to have the card advantage, and so I think this paired really well with the. Um, with the insightful investigator and we got to do some cool stuff with um with insight with victor and insightful investigator with it right because remember how like that one game we had our, our leveled up victor to make them cost one less and then we had all of those mk3s right we had like four mk3s because we had two different mk3s that we drew them both because <laughs> you know, like we're we were playing all those mks and then putting them back and redrawing them and we had the zevi in play so we had like four mk3s that then cost two mana instead of instead of four mana, so then we got to, you know, cast those and for two mana and, and draw more cards, and yeah, it was it was a pretty sweet little combination here. Transfusion did its job doing some protection. Trail of Evidence was awesome, being a two mana spell for Insightful Investigator and being another created card, buffing up our Ballistic Bot and Victor. I'd have to say everything worked pretty well. Scorched Earth was clutch, right? We needed Scorched Earth to destroy the... Um, Starspring, so we didn't die to the Soraka Braum deck, so we got to play that game out. Um, Starspring was super clutch there. And yeah, that was our deck. It was it was pretty fun to play. Very long games. Very, very long games. But uh, that's kind of Victor, right? Like, Victor is, is not a fast champion. You would just want to sit back and keep leveling up your Victor and making it larger and larger and wait till you have, like, your elusive and, and your spell shield and all that kind of cool stuff and kill him in one shot and and remember our loss we were four and one remember our loss we put him down to one and we were so close to killing them they you know like they had that sejuani leveled up sejuani that at the beginning of turn because we drew a puff cap um frost bit our victor and and we still almost got them um even you know like victor almost got enough power after being frostbitten at the beginning of turn and going minus 10 minus zero losing 10 power still almost had enough um but yeah, that was so that was our uh, that was our our deck there. All right, so those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hopefully, y'all really enjoyed this deck. Uh, this one was really cool. Spent some time on this one. Um, yeah, hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. Um, and if you did, leave those comments. Let me know. Um, let me know how you liked it. Let me know if there's like other kind of cards like Hunt the Week that you want to see that you haven't seen yet that you want to see. Um, you know, anything like that. I love seeing those suggestions from those y'all on YouTube. But that's all I got here for Insightful Hunt. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.